Wow. There is a river flowing. There is a river. Welcome everybody, welcome to Be Set Free at 3. Today I want to flow with the Holy Spirit. His presence fills everywhere, everywhere with Himself. And so as you're seated at home now, just start to receive that river of life that flows from the Lamb and from the throne, that river of life that brings life. From the tree of life, not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but the tree of life. So it can be accessed in grace. There's a river, there's a fountain. Mm -hmm. And it's just wonderful learning how to flow with that Holy Spirit and power. Welcome Robert from uh, the Eastern Cape. Uh, Robbie Bluchnot, wonderful rugby player in his day. And a wonderful person now. And then of course Jan Lundi Stapelberg. And it's just wonderful being with you today and sharing good things with you. And if you know of any of your friends that need a healing in their body, in their emotions, invite them right now. On your screen you'll find share. Share this uh, program with them. It's a probably best gift you could give them. And uh, they certainly will benefit buy it and uh, i've just seen so often uh, nico i've seen so often anali i've seen so often in the world that his presence is able to do it. there's healing in his presence there's healing in that river that flows from the lamb and from the throne there's healing in it that's right the tree of life nico says uh only good that's right only good in it brother only good in it and i'm sorry if you're watching today and you have an affliction and you have a, a something that isn't right, I believe today you will be healed. Uh, my wife and I, who've just joined in right now all the way from Germany, we agree today. We agree for your healing. We agree today for this beautiful, beautiful presence of God to touch you. And when He touches you, something supernaturally happens and so from the lamb and from the throne the bible says well let's open in prayer before we carry on so father we thank you today that you have given us an answer the answer that you gave us was on the cross of calvary where you came and you who knew no sin took all our sin upon yourself we thank you today that we have an entrance point that we're able to come through that cross and leave whatever we have at the foot of the cross and be resurrected through that cross into your holy of holies into that place of presence into that place of peace into that place of love into that place of acceptance into that place of full health where we're able to eat of the fruit of the tree of life and we're able to drink of the river of life in jesus mighty name so before i start pretty paul i speak life over you today i speak the word life abundant life immortal life uh, over you right now external life healing life over you right now my wife says i look handsome wonderful thank you and so the the Hebrews 10, 19 says, Therefore, brethren, since we have full freedom and full confidence to enter into the Holy of Holies. I'm sorry, you, you're not away from the Lord. You're not here and God is somewhere else. We've got this full freedom and full confidence to enter in to that which He has for us. To partake in that which He has for us. God didn't come that you can be ill. God didn't pay the price through Jesus Christ that you can be sick. God didn't come that you could have an ailment. No, 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 no. The Bible says that He 
took all of these things, all of these injustices, all of these these burdens, all of these uh, woo, all of these transgressions, uh, all of these guilt, all these iniquities, all, all of these these things. Um, the Bible says by his stripes. By what? His stripes. Um, Eleanor, but all of these stripes we have been healed and made whole. So if you're watching right now, as I say, invite somebody that you know is not is sick in their body and they will receive the healing because he is a healer. Um, and we're able to enter into the Holy of Holies through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's been shed. It's poured out. It's been poured out on mankind that we are able to receive that redemption, be able to receive that which takes us out of affliction, which takes us out of death, which takes us out of sickness, which takes us out of COVID, which takes us out of every single disease we possibly could imagine. Hebrews 10.20, by this fresh, new and living way, it's fresh and new every day are his blessings every single day so please don't get caught in a mindset where you call your illness my disease i was sitting with a guy the other day and he says you know my arthritis i said excuse me uh, i said are you the author of this arthritis did you make this arthritis yourself did you did you buy this arthritis how can you call it your arthritis are you the uh, i couldn't believe what i was hearing and people so, so often start to refer to their illness as their own right now declare it's not yours declare right now it's not yours this illness this illness this infirmity doesn't belong in your body doesn't belong where light and life is huh? doesn't belong there and so we declare right now it's over give it notice tell it it's over and the bible says by this fresh new and living way it's a new it's a way of life it's a living way not a dead way not a sick way, a living way, which you initiated and dedicated and opened for who? For us. What was the qualification? He was the qualification. Come unqualified today. Come and receive that whichever you've come with today. And while I'm preaching to you and I'm sharing the word for you right now, Marion, I missed Marion last time. I missed your uh, or, or the ailments that you gave me. You please give them today. I want to pray for you personally here on be set free at three and um, also if you're watching right now send out a, a share to your friends who are sick that you know that need healing and also just type in the comments the the where you need prayer today because i'm going to pray for you just now and so something was open for us through the separating curtain which which was the veil of the holy holies that is through his flesh we've got a way we've got a a, a path We've got a, 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 an avenue where we can get into the Holy of Holies, huh? where we can come unqualified because He qualified for us. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 44, it says, It is sown what your body, when you come to the cross of Calvary, when you come to the cross of Calvary, your body is sown a natural physical body. Huh? And in that natural physical body, there might be illness. But it's raised a supernatural spiritual body. Huh? So receive your resurrection right now. Receive that you have been resurrected into health. That you've been resurrected into peace in all your members. That you've been resurrected into a place of health and healing. And so, and surely as there was a physical body, there's also a spiritual body. What's a spiritual body? Is the body that floats around somewhere? Huh? No, it's not. Your spiritual body is that the body you receive, the holy body you receive when you come through the cross, when you are in light. So we're no longer seated at the foot of the cross, Marion. We are through the cross, uh, Pauline. We are through the cross. Pauline, I remember once uh, your, your, your husband was in a parking lot when we were at the spa at Flamingo Valley. And he came in or you came in or someone came to call us to come to the car. And we came to the car and we prayed for him in his motor car while he was lying on the back seat. And the Lord raised him. I don't know if you remember that. It was a great day that. And uh, so I remember that quite clearly now that I see your name uh, on, the, uh, on the screen, Pauline. And so God is able to do that. It's all in the resurrection power. You see, when you are resurrected through that cross of Calvary, you're at this place 
in his holy of holies. And at that place in his holy of holies, there's a river. The Bible says, then he showed me a river in Revelation 22 verse 1. There's a river whose waters give life. Give what? Let's say it. Speak over your body right now. Give life. Life over my body. Life over my body. Huh? It flows from the throne of God and from the Lamb. Huh? That's a wonderful thing. Huh? It's a wonderful thing. And the Bible says, through the middle of the broad way of the city, there all, on either side of the river was the tree of life. The tree of life. And we partake in that tree of life. Not a tree of death. Not a tree of knowledge of good and evil. But a tree of life. So as you're watching right now, just start to receive that river that flows from the Lamb and from the throne. Start to receive this beautiful river that flows. The river that is laden with life. You're no longer at the foot of the cross. You're resurrected through the cross. You're resurrected into that place. And that's a place of miracles. And so the prayer requests have started to come in. Got one from Marion here. Got one as well from my friend Nico LaRue. And let's see. The Lord will do a miracles today. I believe, I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. And I want you to expect a miracle today. Expect a miracle in your body. He does it. Even while I'm teaching right now, there is something that is happening. Just receive right now. There's a flow. From my innermost. Where's my innermost? From the place I've been resurrected to be. Eh? There's no distance in the spirit. Just receive right now. And the Bible says in John 20 verse 21. Then Jesus said to them. Peace to you. And as the Father has sent me forth. So I'm sending you. But the important thing is. Peace to you. Peace to your brain injury. Who is peace? There's a prince of peace. Peace is a person. And where he is, is there peace. When he is, there is healing. Where he is, something supernatural happens. So wherever you're watching from, just receive right now. And the Bible says in John 7, 38, He who believes in me, which the scripture says from his innermost, there we have the word innermost, shall flow rivers and springs of living water. From me flows rivers of living water. From you who are resurrected through the cross flows these rivers of living water. The Bible says in, in, uh, in John as well, it says this, that... Uh, from your innermost flow rivers of living water. Huh? Rivers of living water. You see the earth is filled with life. Filled with healing. Filled with prosperity. Filled with hope. Filled with opportunity. Because it's a, a portion. It's apportioned to us. It's given to us. And I want to start ministering now to people who have sickness. So Mary and I just want you to start to receive. Start to receive this, this river of life. Start to receive right now in your mind, in your brain. Start to receive this flow and anybody else that is expecting a healing right now just start to receive i feel his presence right here and that brain injury that you had that at hishimoto's thyroiditis that you have 
we just bring to the cross right now, Marion, and we thank the Lord that it's crucified with him. And then you are resurrected through that cross into health, into grace, into peace, resurrected into healing in Jesus mighty name the other day I was I took my my daughter to ice skating and uh, there was a guy who couldn't walk properly on crutches and I called him over I said brother what's wrong and he gave me 101 reports and I took him by the hands like this I said look at me brother look in my eyes he looked, I said, I set you free. How can you say I set you free, Robbie? Quite simple, because he in me, because we have been resurrected into his likeness. We have been resurrected into his divinity. We've been resurrected into light. And of course, I know who the healer is. The healer is the Lord. The healer is the Holy Spirit. And I said, brother, I set you free right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give me your crutches. I took his crutches and I said, walk. And he started to walk up the steps, down the steps. And I posted that on, on, on YouTube live as well. On YouTube, you can go and check it out. Uh, Robbie Kencross channel on YouTube. And you'll see there was a guy there also giving a testimony on what he saw happen. And so right now, through the Holy Spirit, Marion... I set you free. I bring life to you right now. His life. I bring peace to you right now. His peace. Everything that was out of sync. Everything that was out of order. Receives the divine order right now. Divine presence right now. And there as well we've got Nico LaRue. And... Uh, And so, Nico, Nico, I speak now life into you. This problem of diabetes just comes to the cross. It is crucified with him. And I speak now life to you that you've been resurrected through the cross into full liberty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just start to receive right now. All insulin levels come to normal. All blood it's balanced. In Jesus' mighty name, Nico. You are free, you are free. Not by anything that you could do, but everything that he has done for you through the cross of Calvary. Carmen's also watching all the way from Sicily, from, from uh, Terracini. So... Nico, I want to talk to you as well about diabetes. I pray for people with diabetes, they get healed, but they don't change their diet. So, if you want something changed, if you want something new, you've got to sometimes change some things. And we've got this book called uh, Be Set Weight Free. And there we deal with the di diabetic and uh, the diabetes things. And, and we, there, there's a way to, I cut five things out of my diet and I was released from, from the, uh, one of the lifestyle diseases, which was diabetes. So if you want to get this, just put your the book, uh, just put the name book uh, on your uh, comments and I'll send you the, 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 the information how to get hold of this. There, of course, we've got uh, Eleanor Tobin. Also, Eleanor, I think you have you been to the B-Set Weight Free uh, and uh, Healthy Body and Sure Weight Loss uh, Zoom or virtual gathering? Maybe pop around to that. Do that as well. And so, Eleanor, I bring life to you right now. I bring you His life, His light. His peace. I bring healing to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I say blood pressure be restored. 
cholesterol problems be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free, you are free through the blood of Calvary. And Eleanor, it will be good for you and Nico to come to the uh, virtual school, uh, the uh, virtual gathering. He said, wait, free virtual gathering. It's, it's, it, it, it's more about, it, it, it is, you haven't been. Okay, great. You, you need to, uh, Nico, you and Eleanor, let's do a special one for you on Friday. Uh, the uh, Be Sit Weight Free Virtual Gathering. And we'll get this book to you as well. Eat heartily and lose weight. Uh, and um, I don't know if you realize that I had a mild stroke once. And I cut out five things which I'll share with you at the virtual gathering. The, the, the Be Sit Weight Free Virtual Gathering. And... Uh, and I'm not on any, any medication at all. Yes, of course, the Lord heals. Of course he does. But if you're doing the same thing, if you're putting your finger in the fire all the time, it's going to burn, even if there is a God. And so <laughs> we've just learned to use a bit of wisdom in certain things as well. Amen. So who else do we have here? Also, the other day I was... Uh, Walking down the street and I saw a guy also was half bent over like this. And I saw he was in a lot of pain. I said, so are you in a lot of pain? He said, I'm in tremendous pain. I said, just look, give me your hands right now. I looked at him in his, in his eyes. And when I look at someone in their eyes, I'm just flowing with that Holy Spirit. I'm just flowing in life. I'm just flowing in his light. I'm just flowing in that frequency of health, which he achieved through the cross of Calvary. I looked in his eyes like I said, so I set you free. All the pain goes. And for you watching right now, if you have pain, I set you free now from all pain. I set you free now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All pain goes and his life and peace comes. Check yourself. Test yourself right now. That arm that was sore, test it. Huh? That back that was painful, check it. It's free. That's right, Dominic. I'm going to pray for you as well, Dominic. Right now. I speak to that hepatitis in your body. I don't speak to it, brother, but I address it right now. And I say it's gone because of the light, which is your life. I speak to you right now, uh, Dominic. Look at me right now, brother. Look at me. I set you free. I bring you his goodness, his mercy, his grace, his peace. I bring life to you right now. Hepatitis goes and life comes. You are set free, not by anything that you could do, but through him. At the cross of Calvary. In Jesus mighty name. Dominic says yes. I receive it now. Amen I receive it now. He says glory. That's right Dominic. Glory. You've been waiting for a miracle brother. Here it is right now. Just take it. Consume it. And thank him for it. In Jesus mighty name. You've asked me a while ago to pray for you. Another friend of mine in the in, in United Emirates also fell off a ladder last night and ended today or this morning. He ended up in, in, in ICU where he's had an operation. And so I speak now to that broken leg. I say you will align or align with the word of God. I speak to you right now. I say all the pain goes and supernatural healing comes in that mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I'm also just uh, I'm also just led to speak to, to, to pray for Papa Angelo uh, as well. And we speak life right now in agreement over his heart, over his condition, and we just say he is free through the cross of Calvary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A total change of mind, a total change of body. Amen. Eleanor says amen and uh, 
Dominic says amen. And uh, Nico, if you just leave your email address here as well, you want to you agree on the virtual gathering. If you leave your email address here, I'll certainly get a hold of you. Certainly get a hold of you. There's someone that's watching right now. You, you've got a problem with your left wrist. It sometimes gets a bit, it, it sometimes a click, click, and sometimes gets a bit stiff. I bring life to it right now. Healing to it right now. And I bring release to it right now. Totally free. Huh? Totally free. Huh? And there, my wife, Lika Tarana. She's listed as Lika Tarana on, 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 on Facebook. She says, Papa Angela says, Danke, Robbie. Huh? And Dominic says, Be to me according to your words. In Jesus' name, my, in Jesus' mighty name. That's right, brother. His word says you are healed. His word says you are free. His word says you have liberty. <laughs> in Jesus' mighty name. Right, just start to receive as well. There's somebody here, you've got a neck problem as well. Your neck sometimes is sore. I uh, speak life to that neck and release to that neck right now. Thank you, Nick. I've got this. A life to your neck, re release to your neck in Jesus' mighty name. And I speak peace over you forever. Peace. Sometimes I love doing uh, radio revivals, healing radio revivals. And we were doing such a revival once in a place called Atlantis. And there was a, a death of a baby. And the, uh, the mum heard the broadcast about the presence of the Lord. Not the mum, the mind there, in fact. Heard the, heard the broadcast about the presence of the Lord and she picked the baby up to read and you know what? Life came. It started to cry. Out of death came to life. And so we, we serve this miraculous God. I'm sorry if your mindset is not tuned into that which He can do but it's focused only on your problem. I'm here as a preacher to bring faith to you. And saying to you, he can do it. It'll pass away. But there's something. There's something about that name. That Bible says about the name of Jesus. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Everything has names. And every name will bow. Every name will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Receive his touch right now. Receive that healing. Eleanor, leave your email address here for me as well, please. And wherever you are, just start to receive. If you want to learn more about healing and you want to flow in healing and you want to get others healed, saved and set free, we've got just the thing for you. It's called the Supernatural, the Worldwide Supernatural School of Grace, Healing and Evangelism. And we start next Sunday with our third intake. With our third intake. If you'd like to attend, I know Dominic's attended and Angela has attended and... and uh, and Eleanor has attended, and uh, others have attended, and, and Martin has attended as well. Uh, and if you'd like to attend uh, that school, register at that school, let me know. Put school in the, in, the, uh, in the comments, and I will certainly get information to you that you can register. And there we teach on, we teach in three phases. We teach on who is the messenger. Who are you? Not an orphan at the foot of the cross. Not from earth earthy. Not natural, but you resurrected through the cross as one of his sons. You resurrected from heaven, heavenly and no longer from, from, no longer natural, but now supernatural. So we deal with who is the messenger. Who are you? Secondly, we deal with what is the message? What is his love message? What is his grace message? 
What is the message that all mankind is being designed to receive? What is that message? It's in the Bible, and I'll teach that to you. Thirdly, we, we, we focus on the method. The flowing, the ministering in the Holy Spirit and power to get others healed, saved, and set free. And so we teach you, just for five Sundays, one hour every Sunday, from five to six, through Zoom. And if you'd like to register for that school or get a little bit more information about that school, I'll send it to you, Marion. I'll send it to you. And you are able then to, Nico, you're able then to, to, to flow in a more meaningful way. Uh, and I've just seen many people that once you start learning about the things of the Lord and you start ministering in the things of the Lord, it's a two-edged cutting sword. When you start teaching, you grow more. When you start ministering, you grow even more than if you're just sitting and sipping. But when you go and flow, it's really an experience. You write the next book. And so it's wonderful to have you part of that. And that starts next, uh, next Sunday, 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock. It'll be great. Dominic says, thank you, Holy Spirit. You're welcome, my brother. You're welcome, my brother. Right, so that's next Sunday. Worldwide School of Grace, Healing and Magic. Be, be a student. Learn more about Him who loves you so much. I know Eleanor and I know uh, Dominic. I know Martin has. Uh, already now they're starting higher and deeper, which is a great teaching. Uh, after the school, we do a little course, a two... A two uh, session course called Higher and Deeper and they're going to start that others have done it, Martin has done it already and uh, I know Angela's done it I think and it's just a wonderful time Eleanor's registered to do it and uh, Dominic's registered to do it and we'll start that next Friday at 5 next Friday at 5, Higher and Deeper next Friday at 5 I know that Kachi has done it. That's right. And, she, and Kachi is from Nigeria. The Lord's using her in a mighty way on the one-on-one -on -one evangelism. She was telling me the other day that uh, she has a WhatsApp group sharing and ministering and bringing life to people. And I want to tell you today it's really needed. It's, really, it's, a, it's a real must. And so be used by him. You know, he, he, made, he made us... On the cross, He made us holy. So we can make others free. So whatever He's done for you, do unto others. Bring life to them. Bring healing to them. Bring grace to them. Bring mercy to them. Flow with that Holy Spirit, which He's given you to flow in. That river of life. That river of peace. Flow in that. And if you'd like to watch more videos and be encouraged even more, you can go to YouTube, Robbie Kane Cross Channel, and then you can see at least 75 miracles, documented miracles, miracles where the camera was there, where the testimonies of there are there. Uh, where a lady came in and she had broken her tendon, her tendon had snapped, her, her, tendon ha her tendon had torn. I think it's miracle 52. Her tendon had torn, and how the Lord just ministers to her, when she gets up, she has no more pain, she removes that moon boot of hers, and she jumps and skips and praises the Lord. Huh? These, this is the miracles that our Lord can do. And I believe, and I've seen enough to happen. I've seen enough healings to be persuaded that that's what He does. So I've spent a good 30 minutes with you, and it's been wonderful sharing with you again today. And I had a great day off yesterday. I, uh, I took my daughter, we went down to Camp Span, we went down to VNA Waterfront, it was just great being with her. And it's, thank you for giving me that break, it was great, I like to take Saturdays off. And next Saturday I'm spending with a mentor of mine, a 
that I walked for worked with for many years, uh, Alfie Fabe, and it's going to be great being with him and seeing him again and, and communicating with him. And so, from me to you, His goodness, His mercy, His grace, His peace, His life. His healing is yours. You are free, you are free, you are free. Not by that which you could do, but everything that He has done for you at Calvary. Life and peace. Life and peace. See you tomorrow. Be set free at three, where we flow as well again in healing, where you can invite folk as well to come along and receive something supernatural. Be set free at three. Marion says free. Whom he sets free, Marion, is free indeed.